feel it in the air of Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. It's the SEC Championship on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper. Our matchup, the number one team in the country, the Crimson Tide of Alabama, the fourth-ranked Bulldogs of Georgia in front of 73,000 fans in Atlanta. Miko Hardman and Brian Harrigan are back deep for Georgia. 27th SEC Championship game. Alabama's been here 12 times. That's more than anyone. Georgia won it a year ago over Auburn. Now they get a crack at the number one team in the country. And they'll start from the 25-yard line. From the 29, that's Godwin in motion. Fromm's first pass is not going to be a pass. It's going to be a sack, and it's Quinton Williams. To kick. Not the greatest punt. It's going to be fielded at the 35 by Jalen Waddle. Waddle got the edge. He's at midfield. Waddle all the way down to the 29-yard line. Judy in motion. The spin move by Tagovailoa. Now pressured and down it goes. DeAndre Walker and Jawan Taylor with a sack. Third and goal, but way back at the 18-yard line now. Tagovailoa scans the field, fires to the end zone. It's intercepted. Richard LeCount for Georgia going the other way. LeCount got a convoy. What a turnaround. Georgia with the interception. And Tua is limping off. What a bait by LeCount. He baited Tua all the way and forced him. Watch him turn this way and then come back after the play. He turns and then comes back. What a play. From quick throw, got his man, Holloman, back into Alabama territory at the 42. The throw, not a touchdown. Touchdown strike from Donato. Play action, roll out, throw, dropped by Judy on a crossing route. He might have had a touchdown had he been able to hold it. I'll tell you, I would never have guessed that Alabama would be making the simple plays look hard early in this game. Right now, they open the second quarter, knocking on the Georgia door. At about the one foot line. Jacobs, the tailback in the eye, gets the call and walks in. Touchdown, Alabama. Well, they followed number 82, Irv Smith, and number 92, Quinn and William. Quinn and goes like, I'm going out for a pass. <laughs> Jalen Hurts with his reaction on the sideline. And Bullibus. Extra point upcoming to tie things up for Georgia. From throws, caught Godwin, and he crawls his way to the 29-yard line. Swift trying to pick his way inside to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Three wide receivers, but it's Swift all the way. DeAndre Swift blasts his way to the 31. Well, that time Isaiah Wilson, number 79, got the edge blocked right there. And it actually gets up another block. He handles two of them. Everybody in tight. Oh, he's wide open. Bomb to Swift. Swift to the end zone. Touchdown. Remember, I told you that trailing thing only lasted 70 seconds at Ole Miss. It's lasted six minutes and 38 seconds, courtesy of Georgia. But here comes Josh Jacobs. There goes Josh Jacobs. Jacobs inside the 30, still on his 
his feet. Wow, what a run. Jacobs is the guy that got him down there. And he lost the ball going in. Wait a minute. It's a touchback. He lost the football. Watch him reach out. Second effort. Ball's, balls down. Now see if he could grab the ball. A ruling on the field as the ball was fumbled forward, recovered by Georgia for a touchback. The problem is it looked like Josh Jacobs got the ball back. Jacob gets the ball and controls it across the line. The previous play is under further review. There's the dive to try to get the ball back, and it looks and like he had it. it. Yes, he does. That's going to be a touchdown. Touch review. The ball was fumbled by Alabama and recovered by Alabama for a touchdown for Alabama. It goes a one-yard touchdown. And that's why we have instant replay right, right there. And when you and I first started doing this, we would have just had to live <laughs> with it being a touchback and not a touchdown. But they got it right, and that's the goal. Elijah again cuts this one outside, got the first down, got the edge, has the speed to take it all the way to the 21 yard line. Miko Hardman in the backfield and now flushes out of there. Empty set for Jake Fromm from the 23. Looks right, goes right to the end zone. Did he catch it? He did. Touchdown. Riley Ridley. Blankenship to try to attack. Three more on for Georgia. Up and wide left. He missed it. So that gives Alabama a little bit of life. But he might have been, right? Tagovailoa down the middle, got his man. And it's Jalen Waddell who bounces off the tackle. There's a big play they were looking for out to the 45-yard line. Tagovailoa going deep again. It's intercepted by J.R. Reed. Second interception of the red zone for the dogs today. He's in a slot on the left. Tagovailoa throws complete. Waddle in full stride. Jalen Waddle gone. Touchdown Alabama. Keep shooting. I'm due. 51 yards. Josh Jacobs in motion. Tagovailoa fires in and out of the hands of Ruggs. Had to go airborne to try to pull that down, and two is down again. Whoa. I didn't see the end of the play here until now. Oh, oh it looks like it's it gave his, out his on right. Looking like his right ankle. Oh, he, oh, he got, got hit stepped by his own on. Guy. Yes, by Williams. Got stepped on by Jonah Williams as he threw the ball. That's when you're most vulnerable. It's almost like the punter on his plant leg when you punt. When you're throwing the ball, all your weight is on that front foot and you get it stepped on, and that is painful. And that doesn't look good at all. He spent a lot of time in the tent in the first half, and he's going back to the tent, I can guarantee you. And that means Jalen Hurts, a guy who won all but two of the games that he started and was replaced at halftime of the national championship game on January 8th. Comes in to take over for the guy that won that game. Jalen getting some pressure down the middle. He throws a strike to Irv Smith for the first down. Sometimes when you're a good teammate and a good guy, the world and the game finds you again. Judy in motion. Hurts. Sets his feet, now starts to use his feet. Throws on the run. Touchdown, Judy! What a play. An extra point away from a tie game. It would have been a first down. Instead, 
It's the foot of Jake Camarda. And it's a fake. Justin Fields. Oh my gosh. It was fourth and 11. Alabama's going to take over at the 48 yard line. The Alabama bench knew it was coming. They kept their defense out there. They're playing defense safe. Justin Fields is right here. They were ready for it. They played defense safe, and they had no chance on the first down. A risk, wow. to say the least. Third and seven. Hurts throws down the middle, and he's got it to Irv Smith who dropped the ball but covered it. That's the third time Alabama has recovered a fumble, their own fumble, in this game. But how about the poise of Jalen Hurts? Good pocket, good protection, and a perfect throw. Just inside the 16, quarterback draw, Jalen Hurts! Touchdown! And it'll be Terry Godwin to the left, Riley Ridley, and all Holliman, the way, and Hardman to the right. And all the way back is Mac Wilson. He's the last player, the last defender, the middle linebacker. And the last play of the game. Fromm's in trouble. Can he even get a pass away? Loads, goes to the end zone. Jump ball, incomplete, and Alabama has won it. Your 2018 SEC champions come from Tuscaloosa and two old friends embrace out at midfield after a battle that lasted and lasted and almost went to overtime a second time. Another heartbreaking setback for Georgia. Jubilation on the Alabama sideline once again.